Hey everybody, it's RCK, and I'm glad to have you back here again for our next episode here for our Salinas series that we have going on. Uh, hope I, thankfully, I feel a little bit better. My voice is still um, not completely back normal, but it's okay. I do spend a lot of talk, time talking every day uh, just from my job and whatnot. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started here. We have two magic sites found. Now, this is by one of the Maguses that we have recruited. And, oh, oops. Uh, Quicksand, which is a Earth uh, Earth 1 gem site. And then Smolder Stone, which is, I believe, an, a fire site. We'll check that later. Let's go ahead and watch this battle here. Of course, we already saw it. We do see that we do lose. I was hoping to actually kill some more elephants there, but apparently we could do nothing to really deal with them so as unfortunate only end up killing well no never mind we won i was looking at the wrong side never mind we uh we kicked their ass sorry um so we'll go ahead and watch that battle and see what actually happened here i wonder if we killed the commanders and the elephants routed uh, because it doesn't look like the elephants are ne oh they do meet here in the middle very nice having the elephants do with each other meaning that they can't trample one another since they're both size six of course, a trampler cannot trample another unit that is the same size of it or a larger unit. Uh, so their trampling really doesn't take any effect. Um, we had more elephants than them, so our tusk eventually won over. And that was the end of that. Very, very nice. And we, uh, so as a nice, another new province for us, we see two unexpected events. Uh, losing gold, unfortunate. Got four air gems, five water gems. That's very nice. We see that a few brigands attacked us, some villains, and they did not uh, go so well. Uh, they also lost here. And not a whole lot other than that. We had some promoted troops. Uh, getting a fair few amount of these chaos uh, chosen. Uh, very, very nice. Let's see, so right now we do have, uh, we're moving out a lot of site searchers, just a mass search here, get it as fast as we can to get everyone researching as soon as possible back. Um, just because I know we had a lot of land that we have not site searched at all yet, so we definitely want to get that done as fast as possible. Definitely want to increase our gym income as much as we can. These guys are sneaking down to 55. Not sure why. Probably to build a lab and a temple on the same turn. Um, so this diseased unit here, he's searching for nature and water. Building, continue to build this fort here in 35. Building a fort up in 31. So that's a brand new one we started. We're investigating the event that's happening in 42. Site searching in 53. Building a palisade here in 45. Three more turns on that. We get that th golden throne under our control there. Of course, we should already go over here and claim it. Let's go ahead and start getting that 200 bonus gold. Um, and we are moving that profit there this turn to go ahead and get that done. Making another sanguine dowsing rod. Um... So, and we are blood hunting like crazy down here at 48. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 blood hunters here. Just uh, blood just blood ones with uh, dowsing rods decently enough. Um, but yeah, this is probably be the maximum amount of blood hunters you want per province, depending. Um, because, uh, so each blood hunter does blood hunt one at a time. So I didn't know this till later on in the game. And then they, so this blood hunter, it will... It gets you blood slaves, and then it will add unrest to your province. Well, every time you blood hunt, or your blood hunting is dependent on how much unrest is in a province. So your second blood hunter that is up there, he will, of course, uh, have to deal with he, he, the unrest that is already accumulated by the first blood hunter is going to be accounted for in his blood hunting uh, equation of course uh, so uh, uh, so already he's going to be getting less blood uh, slaves than the first blood hunter would and then so on and so on so um, probably the best way you could do is having fewer blood sl uh, blood uh, hunters um, of course doing them in mass yes you, you need to hit a lot of provinces with a lot of different uh, blood slave or blood hunters but uh, I feel that uh, two or three uh, very high level blood hunters will probably do the job just as well if not better because you're not stacking as much unrest as the blood um, hunters go from blood hunter to blood hunter as they are 
uh, accumulating these slaves throughout one of turn rolls. So that is something you have to keep in mind. Uh, right now we're going up to Blood 6. What we want here in Blood 6, let's see, we have Divine Ice Devil. That give us uh, nice water. Um, Demon Prince. 7 will be, uh, I think we should be going for 7 instead of 6. That might be just because I haven't clicked the next one yet. But um, not necessarily a whole lot in 6 at the moment. Uh, 5, eh... I mean, you get buying Demon Knight, you get Demonette Troops, so it's six uh, Demonettes for 32 Slaves, not too bad. You get a Herald for 36. Horde from Hell, Bloodletting, Bloodletting's not too bad. Bloodlust is pretty nice if we're fielding all those Demons. Um, but really, we really want to get down to seven. I mean, we have Blood Rain, uh, dropping everyone's morale by four. Father Ill Earth that is a very nice one for us to grab. Also able to get us up to high, uh, high Earth as well, uh, or higher Earth than just four. Um, Curse of Blood vampires are great. Vampires are so good. Um, they are immortal. They have they are death three, blood three, uh, mages. Uh, they can fly. I believe they have flying. Um, they're just all around really good mages. They're also good blood hunters. And of course you just use them to make more. Keeper of Secrets. A very interesting unit that we'll see later. And we'll talk about later. Uh, bind Archdevil. Pretty decent mage as well. Uh, for going into higher fire. Uh, Plague of Lot Locusts. I haven't really used that one all that much. Astral Corruption. Kind of a uh, double-edged sword there. Approved crossbreeding and not necessarily needed. Rush of strength is very nice, giving all units plus four strength. Life for a life is a pretty good uh, spell as well. Uh, Blood Vortex, I see a lot of people cast it. That's not necessarily, necessarily something I cast very often. And as far as the summoning spells go, these are probably the best ones here. Best bang for your buck here. Um, and Infernal Tempest, of course, giving us 7, then plus 1 for extra, you have an le extra level of uh, Storm Demons for 50 Blood Slaves. Infernal Crusade does 10, plus 1 for every level, uh, costing you 50 for Demon Knights. Uh, Frost Fiends, not necessarily as needed. Uh, Devils, eh, not really my favorite. And uh, you do have Forces of Darkness, which give you Fiends. Um, I'd probably have to say my more, if I had to choose between all of these, I would go Demon Knights or Storm Demons. Those are some of the best ones you have, or are able to get here between uh, between all these. I mean, of course, I wouldn't complain if I could do uh, Devils or just, uh, I think, I mean, if you're casting Darkness, eh, Fiends of Darkness, I mean, you're getting just more overall for your 50. So I guess if you really want them to be like, just have a crap load of them. I mean, because you're getting twice as many uh, Fiends of Darkness versus when you're Storm Demon cast. But Storm Demons have a, you're going for them for different reasons. So lots of different things. We're down to 34 research points, or 38 research points per term. That's just because we have so many people blood hunting. Of course, we want to go ahead uh, start making a decent amount of demons as soon as possible. Probably could, well, it's only turn 22. Definitely need to get started. With all the forts we have, we should be able to uh, replenish the amount of mages we have researching very, very quickly. Uh, this uh, 68, 67 income province, not too bad. We're going to patrol to get that rest down to see if we can get that income a little bit higher. Making three more <laughs> housing rods because uh, we're going to need them searching for that level 3 fire there. And that's about it. What are we doing here? We're just recruiting another of our special cat. Well, no, actually, they're not even special cat mages. You know, they are special cat mages. There are uh, a little bit more elite mages as far as that goes. Uh, and that is all I have to say here about uh, turn 22. Let's head over to turn 23. Oh, not really playing a mini games. If you guys noticed, you only saw two games there. I definitely tried to back down for the Christmas time. Um, I normally do have a uh, vacation. I normally go on vac Christmas 
did last year, will this year. So I do want to go ahead and get my game limit down. Uh, I've been trying to not do as many, uh, so I don't I won't get as overwhelmed. So we found a magic sign enchanted field. It's a nature one supply site. Okay, not bad. Garden of Pearls. I'm sure this is a astral. It's an astral two. Very nice. Uh, very very nice to have. Found another site, a crystal garden. Now I think this is an earth. At, nope, this is just an astral. That was an earth astral one for some reason. So yeah, four gems on that turn. Four additional gems per turn now. Uh, so our seven blood hunters captured 42 slaves not bad but we of course want to get that really going there we definitely need a lot more uh, per turn so we ping this uh, garnet sorceress province it's amazons uh, just see what they had of course griffin riders devils that's going to be a tough i mean they they got pretty good stats dark vision demons uh, pretty good attacks here 35 hit points, 8 protection, uh, very good skills as far as that goes. Susceptible to cold, I do have heat 3. Sorceresses, uh, Devil of the Griders are going to be a pain. Uh, some unexpected events, so minus 3 Dominion, minus 3 Dominion, plus 3 Misfortune. We got, ooh, we got a lot of gems here, 4 Fire, 4 Air, 4 Water, 1 Earth, that's pretty nice. Uh, 23 brigands were killed, 12 brigands, 9, uh, nine brigands, and we got a, hold on, this is Chaos Warriors, an aspiring champion, seek to prove themselves, their patron god, they gain glory and power for, by pursuing an extreme path, so do the Chaos Sorcerers, okay, so we got a Sorcerer Lord, cool, neat. So, we just got an event that just gave us one. So good, we're going to send them out in Site Search too, Because we want to get our gems as high as possible. We're really going to be wanting the uh, very high amount of gems. Uh, building a temple in the lab here in 55. Uh, more than likely, these two will be moving down to 35 afterwards, and then 31. We see barbarians are on the uh, uh, vampire counts at 68. See, we're back up to 54, so we got a few guys, a few extra people researching here and there. Um, we uh, will have to start moving, I think we are moving, yeah, we are moving a scout down here to 48 this turn to go ahead and start moving all these slaves back over. This one's already filled up to 30, uh, so there's a couple, <coughs> a couple of slaves that got left behind, uh, but it's uh, no problem, we'll get them next turn. Two more turns on this one. We're claiming this strong. We're also patrolling it. Uh, not too much left to say about this turn here. We're not necessarily attacking anything. We're just trying to make sure, of course, the uh, unrest is pretty high because we are blood hunting with a lot of blood hunters here. Uh, and the amount of troops patrolling really aren't that great. 1.1. Um, these... Uh, these Hell Striders are definitely much better, but we have very, very few of them. So yeah, we definitely need to get some uh, free chaff or something along those lines. Anything that's necessarily free uh, to start patrolling here, and just a lot of it. And that's going to be all for turn 23. Let's go check out 24. Of course, that's going to be the last turn for this episode. Turn 24. Okay. Um, one, two, three, four more magic sites here. We're doing pretty good at finding magic sites. No, five magic sites. My bad. Uh, fields of fireflies. Let's check that out. So I say fire one, nature one, bile marsh. That gives us hydra hatchlings. Oh, pretty cool. I mean, could come in handy, the poison cloud. Not too many people could expect that or deal with poison early on. Grove of Fertility as a nature one. Tar pits. That's a fire one. Yeah, so it's, I want four more. 
four more gems a turn. We are starting to rack up the gems pretty quickly. Capture 27 more Blood Slaves. Uh, definitely lower if you notice than last turn because last turn was 40 some. This turn it's 27 because of the amount of unrest that's starting to pile up there. Of course, it's only making it worse and worse. Uh, we got minus gold event and then we got a tax collectors did a really good job so we got an additional gold event 14 air gems very nice those luck scales or yeah those luck scales are really paying off for us we caught a scout here this is where we're patrolling for the blood hunters at i uh, finished the fort over there in gentle woods that one uh, down in the uh, southern part of our area you know, east uh, eastern southeastern area there we did take out 76 bandits there, so we should be down to around zero unrest there in that blood hunting site, which is nice. So the uh, mercenaries have left us at this point. They're back in the list. No one's really been recruiting them, so we'll just have to keep an eye out. See if there's any underwater ones for sure. Definitely need to keep an eye out for that. Yeah, back down to zero. So we're using both of these scouts here at this point. This one is moving back. Uh, see right now I'm moving more blood hunters onto this province which at this point I shouldn't be um, so I, like I said I didn't learn about the blood hunting thing later on in the next series I have I will really go more in depth with the blood hunting where I become a lot better at it on a large scale so that's going to be really fun to see I should move well I don't want to take uh, this uh, group of chaos warriors off because I am building a palisade this turn and a temple and a lab so it's a pretty important uh, province I mean after this turn we're going to be able to move them over and patrol but until then uh, let's see what else we got going on here searching searching moving and searching started making those uh, sources sorceresses just to see if we can get maybe a death random uh, or something along those lines or even a water random would be okay yeah and like i said we're moving these two cultists down to 35. looking pretty good let's see what our gem income looks like so already up to six fire seven air three water two earth ten asher which is very sweet plus one death very low uh, plus three nature and then plus four blood slaves like we've always had so things are really starting to come along here for sure uh, we still have a lot of uh, sites to still search for so yeah things are looking good we see that known is really starting to take over the rest of vampire counts then moving here to 77 uh, means they're around their cap circle um, them are taking the kind of farther points away from them as well uh, so known is starting to look fairly large in this area here probably uh, and they might be competing with us at this point especially if they take the vampires uh, capital they'll definitely be competing with us for the farther spot or first spot uh, doors uh, while they look like they have a lot I mean you think that this isn't like it's not like they really it's not like they're a circle you know they're kind of a stringy looking nation at the moment not don't know how Mindenheim is doing not sure how oh so here well this is actually pretty interesting that dwarves have made all the way down here and is fighting the uh, what's that what what goodness what are they called the tomb kings that's what i call them tomb kings uh, so yeah that's very interesting indeed uh so we have a lot of battles going on and we'll have to uh, join some of them very very soon in order to get some stuff uh chaos warrior is not really looking like a whole lot going on here i don't know how far they spread this way but i know they can not spread but go but so far in this direction because the dwarves have already taken all this overall they look fairly small so that is uh, how things are currently going that was turn 24 Hope you guys enjoyed. Oh, we see the uh, orcs over here as well. I forgot to mention them. Uh, we do not see their capital. Don't know where it is. Uh, not necessarily sure what them they are doing or Mindheim. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you on the next one. Bye.